Has Pledes ruined Priston? Now, Priston has been a debated topic for quite a long time, longer than it should have. We are Priston! When Priston debuted, they looked like a very promising group that would be a contender for like the rookie girl group of the year at the time. But as we all know, it went downhill from there. First, of course, was netizens coming after Kyla for her body image. Netizens compiled photos and videos of Kyla compared to her other members, showing that her body isn't the same as others. Like that even matters. <laughs> she looks great. Like she looks beautiful, pretty, and amazing. All right, let's, let's move on. When this became a bigger story, this is when Pledes got involved. And I think this is definitely where Pledes messed up big time. So as we know, Kyla went on a temporary hiatus from promoting with Priston. And then it became a longer hiatus. And then it became her going back to the US to rest and recover from an unknown health condition. But I think we all know probably why she went back to the US. But it didn't stop there. People kept digging and digging to see what Kayla was doing. And she was working at a local fair, like any other kid does. <laughs> if I went to the fair and saw Kyla, I would have lost my damn mind. And for some reason, netizens twisted that around to be a negative thing. Like she got a job while she doesn't have a job at the moment. Okay. Then it kept getting worse. There was rumors about members leaving, including Sion. Sion's my bias, by the way. I, I gotta let you know this because I gotta tell everybody. There was rumors about her leaving and Pledes denying the rumors. Which, of course, up to this point, Sion didn't leave yet. Then it keeps getting worse. Pledes was apparently deleting fan cafe posts asking for Priston's comeback. Pledes seeming like they're sweeping everything regarding Priston under the rug. But when you try to hide something, it doesn't really turn out that well. Then after this long enough time, there was rumors about Kyla leaving Priston. But for some reason, her sister had to step up to say that she isn't. And I'm not gonna talk about her brother talking about her cause that's just, yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. The fact that her own sister had to go out and say this while Pledes said nothing, like the competition for worst K-pop companies is getting heated. And the pressure continues on Pledes as more Priston fans demand an answer and a response from Pledes of why Priston hasn't been active for over two years. Okay, so I got you caught up to what's happening at the moment. And it is a lot of mess. Usually when there's a lot of mess and you know, the saying goes, where there's smoke, there's fire. And we can trace that fire probably all the way back to the beginning of Pledes. Pledes has an interesting history regarding girl groups. After school, orange caramel, ring a bell. Pledes hasn't had a good history of maintaining or promoting their girl groups. But Pledes is a company that established Seventeen, a group that's supposed to be self-sufficient, writing and producing their own things. And then when it comes to girl groups, Pledes seems like they're holding their hand along the way, but also kind of like pushing them off when they get too close. <laughs> But the real reason I bring this up is because I love Priston. I really like Priston when they debuted. She owns my bias and I don't want to see this girl group go. And that could be the way that this all ends. Priston is running out of time. When you talk about K-pop and the career of a K-pop idol or group, it isn't that long. Seven years is about it. And Priston is already over two. But it's much worse when you don't give that group activities. Priston V, yeah, but I think maybe that was a test for Pledes to see like, okay, if Priston doesn't work out, we can go with Priston V. And then maybe change the name so everybody forgets how terrible we were to Priston. <laughs> Priston is definitely running out of time, especially for girl groups. The longer you wait, the worse it gets. For me, Pledes has two options. Either act like nothing happened and then let Priston die slowly, end it soon, or the other choice is have them come back and act like nothing happened again. Why is there a lot of acting like nothing happened? <laughs> it's such a waste because Pledis is taking a loss here. If they don't have this group promote, they're taking a huge loss. Time, investment, money, everything. They trained Priston to debut and become a successful girl group so they can make money from them. That's how the company works. That's how K-pop works. That's how Mafia works. The fact that it looks like Pledis doesn't even care. I'm, I'm appalled. Their main priority is 17 and newest, and so far, 
17 is getting the most activity. I mean, don't get me wrong, 17 are really talented and they deserve all of this. They put in the work and the effort. But who's to say Priston didn't do that? Priston trained for years, put in the work and everything just to have Pledes forget about them. I made a video talking about Kyla a while ago and how she could change K-pop and you know the image of like a K-pop idol, you know, skinny, pretty, this tall, this much weight, this waist size, whatever, and then actually being like a healthy K-pop idol that's happy. But uh, no, Pledes messed that up. Especially with girl groups. Girl groups have the toughest time with public image. They get critiqued on every single aspect of their look. And if Pledes actually stood behind Kyla during that whole issue, then Pristin would still be here today promoting and releasing all kinds of things. But Pledes was scared off by what netizens were saying about Kyla, making them act like it was a mistake to debut her. But it wasn't. Pledes wouldn't have debuted her if they didn't think she was ready or if she would have been successful. So this is what I think the future of Pristin will be. Pledes is gonna continue to ignore everyone talking about Pristin and then hopefully they get a comeback soon. If they don't get a comeback soon this year, I'm scared to see what happens to Pristin. Pristin will probably break up into subunits like Pristin V and then you know promote as another name or something. Cause Pledes does, doesn't want to take a complete loss with Pristin. But I really really hope that doesn't happen. Pledes, if you're watching this, give Pristin a comeback now. Or else it's gonna be a huge mistake on your end and people already don't like the way that you treat your artists. I'm just saddened to see what happened to Kyla. I'm just saddened to see what happened to the whole group as the result of lack of loyalty and support by Pledes. But I have hope. The reason that they haven't been around this long is maybe Pledes is trying to work this out. I hope it all works out. All my highs out there, stay strong. I really hope Pristin comes back this year. And I have hope. I have hope. Nothing's all doom and gloom here. I have hope. And that's it for me guys i hope you did enjoy and i love doing these voiceovers i hope you did enjoy thank you so much for the support on the jyp video that i did crazy crazy i'm, I'm shocked and i am honored that uh, people watch that video that much and uh, i'm also shocked and honored that we hit 40,000 subscribers it would have taken me like two years without <laughs> without that video and without your guys' support we're going strong 40k and my goal for this year is 50k so I think we can do it. But anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this. And if you really did, why not give this video a like and comment what you think Pledis is doing or I don't know, anything, any any hope, any support you got in the comments for Pristin. Uh, I love to hear it. And if you're new, please hit that subscribe button and that bell for much more of these kinds of videos. I love doing these videos and I love that you guys enjoy watching them. So I'll continue to do it. Please hit the like, comment, anything, help out on the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> also, why not share this video with others and maybe share with Pledis. Let them know what's up. Let them know that we need Priston back in our lives. See you on, where's see you on? And that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong.